Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my brother if his kids go hungry, that's his problem not mine? I'll call my brother Mike and my ex Demi. Ten years ago, my then fiancé left me at the altar, most humiliating thing I've ever been through, and went on our honeymoon with Mike. In her note, she told me she loved him since high school, but he was never interested so she used me to get to him. She claimed to have loved me at some point, but after a drunken one night stand, her and Mike knew they were soul mates. I'm not gonna lie, I was a wreck for about a year. Every time I tried to move forward, that day her mother tearfully handing me the note and everyone's faces would set me back. But time is a healer and I've moved on. I disown Mike and haven't spoken to both of them in 10 years. For the first two years, my family hid that they had any contact with him, but then just basically sat me down one day and told me Tammy was pregnant, and Mike was planning to marry her soon, so I needed to get over it because they were going to the wedding, baby shower etc. To be honest, I was hurt at how they went about it, but they're adults. I can't control what they do with their lives. I simply asked they not invite me to anything they would be at, or expect me to forgive him, which they tried multiple times to make us talk, but after a year of no contact, they got the picture. Fast forward to last week, I heard Mike and Tammy are expecting their fifth child, and Mike's business went bankrupt last September. Then the chain Tammy works had closed down and they have zero savings. Apparently, my family have hinted that my wife and I should help them because we are the most financially successful, for the kids sake. My wife told them straight up no, and said to tell Mike to look for a job, and we left. A while later, I got a call from an unknown number. I had a feeling who it was, but I just had to answer. From the moment I said hello, both Mike and Tammy started ranting about me needing to get over Tammy, I am, my wife's a queen, saying I'm a piece of crap for punishing kids for something that happened years ago. Finally, my brother asked me how does it feel to be the reason his kids go hungry. So I told him that's his problem, not mine. They started yelling slash crying, so I just hung up. Since then, my whole family is calling names for taking my anger out on Mike's innocent children. My wife said I should tell them all go screw themselves, and ask them to put their hands in their own pockets. Now for the top comments. I really am in love with your wife, and I'm getting a tan from her blazing shiny spine. She is right. Plus, she is truly all the family you need. Mike and Tammy made their choice 10 years ago. The thing is, Tammy knew what she was doing and could have ended it way before the ceremony. Coupled with the fact she had a one night stand where your bro gets his culpability too. The gross cherry on top, they took your honeymoon. I'd have sued her for that. I hope you got the ring back or dues for the cost. Oh yeah, might be good to mention to your family you already chipped in. And state the above reasons if they never paid you back. Not the a-hole. I am loving the wife too. And she's absolutely correct. Especially about them reaching in their own pockets. The audacity of Mike and Tammy calling and screaming like they have any high moral ground, is laughable. Block them all and enjoy life with your real family, that kick as wife you have. Not the a-hole, and it sounds like you definitely upgraded when marrying your wife. Good on you OP, tell the rest of the family to help Mike if they're so concerned. If you're really worried about the kids going hungry, maybe a call to CPS is in order. I agree about the upgrade. More is the type of person everyone needs in their lives. I don't know how my sorry butt ever got so lucky. Tell them the location to the nearest food bank, and tell them you donated food. That way you are providing for them and others. Problem solved. That's an amazing idea. Not the a-hole. I'm sorry that happened to you, but you dodged a huge bullet there. Your wife is a queen. Take her on a nice date. We are in lockdown, so I plan on doing a DIY pamper night for her. Gotta make sure my queen's nails look good. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to go on a family vacation to Disney and ruining everyone else's plans? My husband and I live a happy, quiet life in the mountains. No kids, a few pets, lots of friends and adventures to go on. My in-laws are nice people. They got the vacation planning bug and have decided that the big family vacation this fall is going to be going to Disney. I said their plans sound great, and I can't wait to see pictures. Mother-in-law said that we'd be joining them, it's a family vacation. Theme parks, especially overly crowded, hot, expensive ones with screaming and crying kids, and a week with his family? Hard, pass. My idea of a fun vacation is camping for a week and hiking or backpacking, quiet solitude in the trees. We said we aren't interested, but that we're happy they get to go. 
Mother-in-law argued that we have to go because it's a family vacation. I explained that from my perspective, that's a lot of time to spend with everyone, that's a lot of time to spend with the kids who will be overstimulated, overtired, cranky from travel, etc., and that it doesn't sound like leisure, it sounds like work. Mother-in-law looked shocked and hurt, and said, I didn't realize you looked at your nieces and nephews that way. Husband said that we love them, just in small doses, and that we honestly wouldn't enjoy being around everyone else for the whole time either, and that quite honestly, we're just not theme park people. Mother-in-law looked so disappointed, and made a quick excuse to get off the call. We discussed it again after, and were both in firm agreement. A few days later, his brother called and yelled at him for ruining everyone else's vacation. I guess because we aren't going, it'll cost more for everyone, and the parents won't get a break because they can't take a day off and send the kids with auntie and uncle for a few hours. Husband said, oh, so the whole reason you guys wanted us to come in the first place is so you had babysitters? Brother-in-law got super offended by that, and made a comment that spending time with your nephews isn't babysitting, and went off on how we don't know how to be part of a family, we just go off on our own and do our own thing without caring how anyone else is doing. It's caused this big rift, and part of me wonders if we're just supposed to suck it up and endure a week at some overpriced, gaudy theme park, just so everyone else in the family gets theirs? Am I the a-hole? Edit, I just wanted to redirect some of the child hate going on in the comments. We don't dislike the kids in the family. We spend time with them. We see them every three or so months and visit over holidays. The kids are perfectly good kids, but spending more than a day or two with them and the rest of the family, is a bit much. It has nothing to do with the kids being brats or anything like that. They're just kids. Not the a-hole. A Disney vacation is expensive beyond belief, and it's not worth going if you don't like theme parks. Plus, you can't plan a vacation and say that someone has to go. That's ridiculous. You can invite them to come along, but it's rude and crazy to say that you have to go. Also, they were 100% wanting you to go as a babysitter for a day. That's ridiculous of them. The amount of money they quoted sounded insane, like we could fly to somewhere in Europe and go backcountry hiking for days and spend time in town for that amount. Edit, please stop asking me for the amount. I'm not interested in discussing finances. Not the a-hole. Brother-in-law was offended because he got called out on something that was true. They wanted you to subsidize part of cost and babysit kids. I would be the one offended, if I were you. Exactly. Even if you love them, taking care of kids that aren't yours is always babysitting. And it's awful to pretend like it isn't. You have to be upfront about expectations. They went in assuming OP wanted to take their kids around Disney, probably for multiple days. You didn't ruin a family vacation. You declined to go on a trip where you were expected to subsidize something you had zero interest in, and babysit to boot. Not the a-hole. If the family wants everyone to go on a family trip, they need to start by involving everyone in the planning. That way, they can plan trips that hold at least some interest for everybody going. Update. Thanks for the perspectives, all. We're definitely not going to go on this vacation, or to Florida at all, no offense Floridians, but I'd rather not meet Florida man. We are going to make sure to let everyone know that if they want to see us more often, they're going to have to put in some effort to at least meet us halfway, and come see us instead of us always coming down to see them. And of course, let mother-in-law know we're sorry for the way we put the rejection, but reiterate that we're not interested in a big trip for a week long, and we'll consider popping in a day or two if they do a vacation to somewhere more our speed. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for getting angry with my sister-in-law? When I was 18, I gave my first child up for adoption. It was a dark period of my life, not just the pregnancy but I was going through a lot. The only people who knew at the time were my parents, my brother and a very trusted friend. I don't regret giving the baby up, it was the best choice for all. It's a closed adoption, I don't get updates, which was my choice. Child can reach out at 18, but I've come to a point where I'd be fine either way. I don't talk about this period of my life publicly. I'm in therapy. So I'm healing and have someone to talk to, but outside that it's rare I share my story. I did end up telling my husband, but that's only because I felt it'd be better than ambushing him if the child showed up. It's just hard for me to discuss with anyone who's not my therapist. I do plan to tell my kids once they're old enough, only one and three at the moment, but that's it. My family always agreed to keep my secret and they did until recently. My brother got married two years ago and his wife is nice. However, what I didn't expect was my brother would tell her. 
He claims spouses don't have secrets and I get that, but it was hard because he didn't explain to her that I don't talk about it. And since she found out, it's all she talks about with me. I told her to not do so and she obliges, but then it comes up. Recently she mentioned something about one day meeting her niece, and asked me how I felt about seeing her. She kept saying she wished I told her. I got upset and told her, you don't have a niece, she's not mine, she's another family's. And it's none of your damn business. She got upset and started to backtrack, but I just left. She's tried apologizing but I don't want to talk to her. Then she promises to keep this situation out of her mouth. My brother thinks I'm being difficult. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. Your sister-in-law has no couth or tact at all, and your brother is wrong for saying you're being difficult. Also here's the thing about spouses not keeping secrets, I think there's a caveat for irrelevance. One's own secrets are obviously relevant to their spouse, so that's probably the biggest thing one wouldn't keep from them. And then in terms of other people's secrets, sometimes secrets can be hard to carry and may pertain to tough stuff in life, so they can be relevant if one learns something they need to unburden and share that emotional support with their spouse. Like a circle of grief though, that doesn't go back to the person who initially shared the private information. The spouse who was not directly informed shouldn't bring it up to the person. Also going back to relevance, I don't see a need to go back and share private information one learned before they were with spouse that hasn't come up again because it's not relevant currently. It's not necessary to share every private piece of personal information one's ever been given with one's spouse in the name of no secrets, because at that point, things that have long been put to bed are just gossip. Therefore in this situation, spouses don't keep secrets is BS justification for how OP is being treated for two reasons. One, the information is not currently relevant and therefore I don't think it was absolutely necessary that the brother bring it up to his wife. If the kid came back looking for OP at 18, I wouldn't expect brother to not tell his wife what's up. But otherwise, why did it come up now ages after it happened? 2. You know what, let's say they have the strictest interpretation of spouses don't keep secrets and shared every piece of personal private info they have ever learned in their lives, relevant or not with each other in the name of honesty, or if they think the fact that the wife is now part of the family means she's entitled to all the family secrets, and so wife is told the secret. Wife slash sister-in-law should still not be bringing it up to OP. It's not relevant info, it's not something sister-in-law needs to talk about, sister-in-law needs to keep her knowledge slash feelings about the info between her and her husband. Sister-in-law was not confided in directly by OP, sister-in-law has no right to act on their knowledge of the secret and interactions with OP, especially against OP's express wishes. Not the a-hole. How is this your brother's news to tell, and how is sister-in-law's news to know? Why is she caring about a potential niece in the first place? And if I am counting this right, you have a three-year-old child, and your brother got married two years ago. So there has been an actual niece slash nephew this whole time. Why is this other child worth more excitement? She's very big on family. She's got like five siblings and they all mean a lot. She's great with my kids. So, the thought of another kid out there excited her. My brother thinks I'm being difficult. I told her to not do so and she obliges, but then it comes up. Nah. Your sister-in-law is being invasive. Not the a-hole. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for starting an argument after he went behind my back and asked his mom for help? My husband and I have been together for 8 years and we have two sons together, 4 and 6. Thankfully, I work from home and my job is so flexible that I get a lot of time in with my kids despite being at work. My husband works from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I don't have a set schedule. I could work all day if I wanted to, take my breaks when I wanted for however long I want. I have been with the company for almost 10 years. So, because my work is so flexible, I am able to entertain my kids, cook, clean, etc., and it does not affect my job at all. However, my husband is convinced I need help throughout the day. He has brought it up several times and I have been over the top insistent that no, I do not need help. I manage just fine and I love my life. The last time he brought it up was last week. Again, I told him I don't need help. And at this point, having heard this conversation a million and one times, I said, you seriously need to just stop because every single time you bring this up, it pisses me off beyond belief. Listen to me and hear my words when I say I'm fine. He dropped it. Well, my mother-in-law has showed up for the past three days and has hung out at my house all day and all evening, until easily 10 PM. I can't even begin to tell you how beyond irritating this is 
because I am now having to entertain her the entire time because she won't leave me alone, and even after the kids go to bed, she stays here and I have no me time whatsoever. At this point, I had no idea that it was my husband's doing. So yesterday around noon, I asked my mother-in-law to leave. This was after I made lunch and she scolded my youngest for making a smiley face in his ketchup. I was calm about it. I just told her that I wanted to be alone with the kids. Her response was, Matt said you would say that. He's worried about you, you know? So, I asked what the hell he was worried about, and she said, you overwork yourself while taking care of this kids. You need help. You might not know it yet but you do. I immediately just told her to please leave. Which she did. This infuriated me beyond belief because as I've said, my job is so flexible that it doesn't even feel like I'm working, and I absolutely love my home life. I don't need to be intruded onto a point where I have zero time to myself, or one on one with my kids because he thinks I'm depressed. So, I flipped out on him. I told him it was beyond disrespectful and that if he ever did that again I would pack my bags. He disregarded everything that I had told him and brushed it aside because he thinks I feel a certain way versus just listening to me. He says that I'm being a freaking a-hole because he is just concerned. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. He's the a-hole here because he's deciding what you need while disregarding what you say, forcing his decisions on you in a manipulative way, and dismisses your legitimate frustration over the situation. Change the context here, if you said you didn't like pickles and he kept offering you pickles that you kept refusing, and he says okay no pickles then gave you a burger loaded with pickles and acted like you were nuts getting mad that he's trying to force pickles on you, that would seem insane right? I think OP's husband may be projecting in some way. He is massively the a-hole here for not only ignoring you, but making your days harder by having mother-in-law there, but he works incredibly long hours at awkward times, so sounds like he gets home when it's time for you to sleep and he sees you tired, and just thinks you're trying to play it off as late at night when in reality it's all it is. He may be projecting in the fact that he may be really burned out with his long hours at work and could do with a day off. Even if this is the case though, husband is the a-hole and needs to learn to communicate and listen to his wife before she gets rid of yet another burden hanging around the house. Not the a-hole. Wow. Just wow. I'm glad you are ready to pack your bags because I would not stay with him. He clearly isn't respecting you. You've made everything clear, and so long as the house is in order and the kids are happy and fine, he should be grateful and appreciative. He must not think you're serious about leaving so be ready, he may call your bluff. But you definitely are 100% in the right here, and he and his mother had no business doing that to you. I'm confused here. If she needs help why isn't he, her husband, helping her? And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.